going guys i'm sam welcome to bros react 0151 um uh, this is completely different this is something different um i always wanted to know how americans um uh, celebrate 4th of july so this is the history of the 4th of july so he's going to give it his like a little insight and stuff but the official link will be in the description down below and make sure you subscribe to this channel crash course yeah crash course make sure you go and subscribe to this channel um, so this is completely different. Don't know what to expect. I always want to know why does the American celebrate it. So here we are. And if anyone wants any special request, hit that donation to that go fund to that PayPal or the link in the description down below. Let's go. Hi, I'm John Green. This is Crash Course U.S. History, and today we're going to talk about July 4th, which in the United States is known as Independence Day. This is the day that Americans celebrate our independence from Great Britain by doing what we do best, blowing stuff up, offering significant discounts on mattresses, mm. driving long distances for uncomfortable family interactions, and eating a lot of grilled meat. <laughs> Right, so the story goes that the founders of this nation signed the Declaration of Independence on July 4th, 1776, parting ways with King George to found the freest, finest nation on the face of the earth. Yeah, except the Continental Congress actually approved a resolution of independence on July 2nd. The Lee Resolution was proposed by Richard Henry Lee of Virginia in June of 1776 and was a simple legal declaration of separation from England. John Adams got so excited about it that he wrote to his wife Abigail, The second day of July 1776 will be the most memorable epic in the history of America. I am apt to believe that it will be celebrated by succeeding generations as the Great Anniversary Festival. It ought to be solemnized with pomp and parade, with shows, games, sports, guns, bells, bonfires, and illuminations from one end of this continent to the other, from this time forward forevermore. So what happened on the 4th? Well, not that much, actually. The Declaration of Independence was the formal announcement of independence, and its text was approved on July 4th, 1776. The fancy parchment version with all the... Pre oh, so it got approved on 4th of July. Well, you really don't on 2nd of July, so it got approved. Okay wouldn't get drawn up until July 19th, and most members of the Congress signed the declaration on August 2nd. Adams may have been wrong about the date, but he was definitely right about the celebration. Americans started celebrating the 4th of July as early as 1777, and as Adams predicted, the holiday was observed with feasts, 13-gun salutes, mm -hmm. and fireworks. Why don't we call them illuminations anymore, Stan? You know, people can say, like, oh, we put a man on the moon, and we can refrigerate our meat now, but I miss the old days. Anyway, in 1777, George Washington celebrated the 4th by giving his soldiers a double ration of rum, and also there was much more shooting than usual. But while the people celebrated the anniversary from the beginning, the federal government took its sweet time in formalizing the holiday. Independence Day became an unpaid holiday for federal employees in 1870 and became a paid day off in 1938. 4th of July... Wow, so 1870, it was unpaid, and on 19... what, 19... 1938, wow. Here we go. Day off in 1938. Fourth of July observances have evolved over the years, but they generally involve patriotic displays, including decorations, fire, and explosives. Essentially, we celebrate our independence by having a one-day fake war each summer. Huzzah! <laughs> Ah, freedom tinnitus. Early observances were marked by huge bonfires, but the litigious nature of modern American society has greatly reduced the number of bonfires. However, we still have a lot of fireworks on the 4th of July. Many cities and towns across the country sponsor fireworks displays on the 4th. New York's fireworks display is the largest in wow. the nation, despite the grandeur of these... So New York, those are the biggest? Wow. On the 4th, New York's fireworks display is the largest in the nation. Despite the grandeur of these officially sanctioned displays, many, many individuals across the nation feel the need to blow stuff up on their own in their yards because, you know, they have all of their fingers, and uh, that seems like too many. Many states have restricted the sale and personal use of fireworks, freedom haters, but would-be hmm. patriots find their way to marginal neighborhoods every year to buy fireworks out of the backs of vans. In my neighborhood, these personal pyrotechnic celebrations start in about mid-May and continue well into August, causing my dog to have a very stressful summer. John Adams' prediction about gunfire holds true as well. On most military bases, 50 gunshots, one for each state, are fired at noon on July 4th as a 
salute to the union. And in stands Wow, there. so did you 50 gunshots for every, for every state, did he say? Yeah. Yeah, for each At state. noon on July 4th as a salute to the Union. And in Stan's neighborhood, where you go to buy the fireworks out of the backs of vans, celebratory gunfire is common throughout the year. Here is an actual bullet hole in Stan's actual window. Stan, can we get the Libertage again? In the 19th century, many ex-presidents celebrated the 4th of July by dying. Both Thomas Jefferson and John Adams died on July 4th, 1826, and James Madison died on the 4th of July in 1831. Calvin Silent Cal Coolidge was born on July 4th, 1876, but as he was never demonstrably alive, no one really cares that much. Finally, <laughs> lest we forget, Americans also celebrate the 4th of July by eating. Millions of Americans host cookouts to celebrate independence, and the greatest spectacle in professional sports happens every year on the 4th of July. I am referring, of course, to the Nathan's Hot Dog. Oh, they really go at it, innit? Like, they proper celebrate hard, eating loads of grilled food and everything. Where's our invite? Why, by eating. Millions of Americans host cookouts to celebrate independence, and the greatest spectacle in professional sports happens every year on the 4th of July. I am referring, of course, to the Nathan's Hot Dog Eating Contest. The current world record is 68 HDBs, hot dogs and buns, in 10 minutes. That means the wow. world... Wow. What? How many? 68 in 10 minutes? What the hell? Bees, hot dogs, and buns in 10 minutes. That means the world record holder, Joey Chestnut, consumed about 28,500 calories wow. in 10 minutes. But don't worry, he, he threw it up shortly thereafter. So happy hmm. 4th of July from all of us here at Crash Course. We may not celebrate American independence on the right day, but I would argue that in spite of it all, it's still worth celebrating. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next week. Boop! Crash Course. Wow. So mad, huh? So basically, do you have a hot dog contest? Do you do loads of activities? And you know what? It feels like a fun day out, you know what I mean? And everyone's having a barbecue, doing like a grill out, a cookout, sorry, and stuff. The UK doesn't celebrate all this as well. Loads of people say it's a bit celebrate like, independence, and the greatest spectacle in professional sports happens every year on the 4th of July. I am referring, of course, to the Nathan's Hot Dog Eating Contest. The current world record is 68 HDBs, hot dogs and buns, in 10 minutes. That means the world record holder, Joey Chestnut, consumed about 28,500 calories in 10 minutes. But don't worry, he, he threw it up shortly mm. thereafter. So happy 4th of July from all of us here at Crash Course. We may not celebrate American independence on the right day, but I would argue that in spite of it all, it's still worth celebrating. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next week. Boop! Crash Course is produced and directed by Stan Muller. The script supervisor is Meredith Danko. Our associate producer is Danica Johnson. Today's show was written by Stan. And our graphics team is Thought Cafe. Every week there's a new caption for the Libertage. If you'd like to suggest one, you can do so in comments, where you can also ask questions about today's video that will be... Yeah, that's it. So that was a little insight to see 4th of July. I really didn't know like they do all these cookouts. I know they um, everyone goes out and stuff and celebrates and stuff, but I didn't know they all make like uh, they do sports and stuff like the hot dog concert contest and everything. And you know what it was a good insight. Make sure you go and subscribe to Crash Course. And you know what? This was great. And he done his things. And 4th of July, so that was a bit of quick insight. Like they go out and celebrate and everything. I've said it before, I'm just lasting along. Until next time, 0154.